update for Ellie. So she just turned three months on the 9th. I wanted to kind of highlight some of the things that have been happening because we have changed a few things over this past month. So she is rolling over from her front to her back and sometimes, I think like one time she's rolled from her back to her front, but she is so fat that it's hard for her to get over the hump to roll. She's just, she doesn't get enough momentum and she just cannot get there quite yet. But she's, she definitely did it once by herself and she just hasn't been able to do it again. Um, I, if you see me looking over there, it's because she's looking at me and she's laughing at me. So, <laughs> so what she's playing in right now is actually something that we just started this month too. It's a little activity gym that has the toys that hang and it was Bella's and Bella loved it. But with Bella, she wouldn't just play with the toys that are on it. I had to hang like this music thing off the side, this music keyboard where she could kick it and then it would play music and she would stay content for a long time. I don't have to do that with Ellie. She will sit there and play with this stupid hanging rattle ball for hours. Like if you hear her cooing, she'll be like this for hours, just happy, happy, happy baby. And that's definitely something that has changed in the past month. If y'all have been following along, she was having a lot of issues with her stomach. And we had to change her formula. We had to get x-rays and all kinds of scans done, all kinds of tests on my little baby. Because she was projectile vomiting every time she ate. So at first we thought maybe she was just getting car sick because it started happening when I was at my mom's house in Texas. And we were driving a lot. We had just traveled and she's rear facing so we thought maybe she is just car sick and that's why she's throwing up but then I got home and it never resolved itself and she was puking so so much and I took her to a doctor and they said that she had actually lost weight during the entire month instead of gaining any she had gotten longer but she had lost uh, two ounces and she was saying how that's strange because of how much she does eat and um, that she's supposed to be gaining weight at least a little bit during the month and she just wasn't so we did all those scans and tests and she's allergic to milk protein which we already know we already knew but apparently she's allergic to soy proteins as well so she had to be moved off of her soy onto Nutrimogen for the first few days I was like this isn't gonna work she's doing even worse than she was on the soy but now that the soy is completely cleared out of her system it's really not as bad as as the soy was so it's definitely getting better I wouldn't say that it's completely resolved because she is still she is still throwing up more than I would like her to be throwing up so we might have to find a different option but as of now, I'm okay with what, with how she's doing. Um, I got to go ahead to put a little bit of rice in each of her bottles if I think that it's helping. But I tried her on it. And the only bottle that she won't throw back up with rice in it is her nighttime bottle. And I tried a little bit of rice in the rest of her bottles. But every time I give it to her, she throws it right back up. So I don't know what the difference is between night and day. Um... But that's the only one that she won't puke back up. I am not precisely sure how much she weighs right now. I'm going to weigh her later on today and I'll post it on my Instagram. Alright, here's my Ellie. So, she's doing a lot better. Like I was saying, she looks like she's slimming up a little bit. But, uh, that's just because she, she had been losing weight. What are you thinking? What are you thinking, huh? She's been doing great. She's been playing a lot more. She's a lot more alert, if you can tell. She's she's looking around a whole lot more than she was. She's a lot more fun to play with. She smiles. She loves having music played. I play worship music during the day while I clean and while I, I cook. And she, uh, she loves listening to it. This is a fun age. I love when they're still babies, but they're more alert to play with you. So this is my, this is my favorite age. Um, from newborn to, to this age is my favorite. Once they start teething, then I'm uh, not 
quite a fan anymore. <laughs> but as of now, she's doing great. We don't have any issues with her other than just her little tummy. Still hurting just a little bit, but since we've switched, it's definitely a lot better. She does cry um, before her nighttime bottle now. We have to like force it down her for her to be able to go to sleep at night um, or she won't eat before bed. So we're not really sure why she's been doing that. It's like as soon as we put the bottle in her mouth, she's hungry and she'll suck like once and then she'll start screaming. So I think it's her stomach um, that hurts her. I've tried gas drops and all the gripe water and all the things. Um, just not quite helping her a whole bunch. But she has been doing a lot better the past couple of nights. Sorry. She has, um, has a little bit of a Cheerio on her head from Bella. Um, that's another thing is that she loves her sister now. So before any time Bella would come near her, she would scream because uh, Bella is rough and Ellie was scared. <laughs> but now when she hears Bella or she sees Bella, she'll just smile and it's so sweet to see the love that she has for, for her sister and to see how much Bella loves her. It just really warms my heart because that's something you worry about as a mom is um, if your kids are going to like each other so or if they're going to be mean to each other. And I'm so glad that Bella's been sweet to her thus far. I know that they'll grow out of that a little bit, but that's okay. We're enjoying it while we can. Yeah. But um, everything else has been doing good. I have a doctor's appointment for her when we get back from our trip so I'll be taking her in and we'll be getting her weighed and getting all of her stuff done if you look at her face her baby acne cleared up <gasps> who's that baby who's that baby who's that baby look at that baby girl <gasps> look at that baby girl hi baby you see mama is that mama Yes, it is. Hi. So you can see it's really cleared up. She's never had cradle cap. You can kind of see the little fuzzies on her head from her hair. But they're real blonde. And they're really hard to see. Um, she's so chunky. She's so chunky. Um, her eyes are turning bluer like Bella's. Um, we thought that they might turn green at first because they were pretty dark. And Bella's were never that dark. But they are trying to lighten up a little bit. I'll see if I can get her close enough to really show the real color. There it is. They're really pretty. They're just not as bright blue as Bella's are. Look at that baby. So she's a lot of fun. <laughs> I could sit here and do this all day because she's just so sweet. you just so sweet. She has been drooling a lot. Um, just the beginning stages of teething. Um, she won't be getting teeth for a long time, but they do start that drooling stuff and the uncomfortableness from the teeth moving around. So, we just got into that. And I guess that's it. She hasn't been sick. She's been doing really, really good. Actually, she hasn't even thrown up today yet. Oh, I lie. She did this morning a little bit, but it wasn't like a throw up. It was just a little bit of spit up on her little play mat. But she's sleeping through the night again. Thank goodness from this thing. If you haven't checked out nested bean sleep sacks, be sure to do that. They are amazing. Not sponsored. They are so, so good. Um, She's sleeping uh, just like Bella now. She'll go to sleep around 7, 7.30 and wake up around 7 or 7.30 this morning. She's sleeping uh, just like Bella now. She'll go to sleep around 7, 7.30 and wake up around 7 or 7.30 this morning. She slept until 8, so that's really nice. She takes baths in the sink right now because Jed has been working, and it's really hard for me to do the showers and stuff by myself in the bath with them now just because Bella is going through the terrible two thing where she just doesn't listen quite as well as she used to so it's hard for me to kind of keep her in check 
and deal with the baby and trying to get the baby washed and out of the shower for us to get washed and for me to still get my shower. So I've just been giving them baths in the sink this past week just to be able to get stuff done that I need done. And it's it takes a little longer, but it's a lot easier for right now. Until she gets a little bit bigger or Bella starts listening a little better than she has been the past week. Um, I think it's just the teething stuff that just really bothers her and she gets really frustrated and agitated and she doesn't listen as well. So that's okay. She's allowed to she's allowed to have bad times, but I can't deal with both of them in the shower for right now by myself. Um, trying to get them out and get them both fed and diapers on and clothed and lotioned all at the same time. It's just a lot. So um, I used to have Jed's help to be able to do that by my, like together to be able to shower with them by myself but now that he works nights unless I gave them a shower at like 6 I wouldn't be able to so we normally start bath time around 6.30 and I'll do Ellie first and get her fed and then I'll lay Bella down really quick while I'm rocking Ellie and get, <laughs> and get Ellie happy um, I'll sing to her and get her ready for bed and then she goes straight down and then she'll sleep all night long so, I still do the lavender and their essential oil diffuser. I still do the lotion. Um, I just did a nighttime routine a couple of videos ago if you want to check that out. And I'm going to have to go get this little girl fed. She's eating about six ounces at a time now. Sometimes with a little bit of rice depending on how she's been doing that day. If she's been throwing up a whole lot, I'll put just a little bit of rice to try and get her to keep it down. But, um doesn't always work so it's a bit it's a bit hit or miss for right now um but we're working with it we're trying all right she's gonna start getting a little fussy so i'm gonna get off of here thank y'all so much for watching if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like for me oh you gonna smile you can smile be sure to leave a like for me subscribe if you're not already subscribed it is free to make a little youtube account and subscribe we're doing the Father's Day giveaway for $50 to a subscriber if we hit 50. I think we're at 33 right now when I'm filming this. So, um, we're almost there and we only need a few more. So, make you an account and subscribe. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Um, because it's super easy and it's such a fun community. And we get to show you our little baby. So thank y'all so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Okay.